Hello. In this video, I'll show you how to decode and search an SPMI bus, which is an industry standard power management bus that's used in PCs, cameras, and IoT devices. Uh, I'll do this using TechScope analysis software on my PC. I can also do this on an oscilloscope like the 5 or 6 series MSO. Um, so I've got the app open. And I'm first going to recall the waveforms that I've captured. Uh, so we'll recall those there. Uh, my reference waveform number one is the clock. And reference waveform two is the data. Now to add a bus, I will tap on this badge at the bottom, add new bus. And going into that menu, I'll change the bus type to SPMI and then source for the clock is reference one and for the data is reference two my thresholds are zero volts so you can see i've already got a decode at the bottom um, i can display the bus or the bus and the waveforms um, we'll just do bus for now to keep it clean and i'll close that out all right and then next let's just zoom in on the waveforms to get a better look okay and so we can see right there our clock and data, okay, and our decode at the bottom. So the next thing I'll do is add a results table for the bus decode. So I'll add that, and you can see here, I'll tap out of that. Um, we've captured many events. I'm going to adjust the size a little bit. All right, so I think that's a pretty good view there. Um, so if I see anything of interest in this table, uh, like I want to know what's going on with this unknown error here, um, event number 31, if I tap on that, the search window or the zoom window will go right into that event and I can scroll through and do the same thing, jump over to the shutdown command, which happens at the beginning of the record over here. Okay, um, the next thing I can do um, as I mentioned is a search so I'll tap on the search badge it defaults to an edge search but I want to do a bus search um, if I go in here the default is a sequence start condition uh, we can see all of these uh, purple carrots indicating that I have captured 34 events so let's close that out I can also add a results table for the search and that's going to pop up over here um, to get a better view I can actually throw this table on top of this table and you can see on this tab I have the search results and bus decode results in this tab here uh, so going back to the search results as I said we captured 34 of these events looking at some of the other events that we can search for so let's add another search, uh, search number two. And in this one, again, SPMI, you can see there's a wide variety. Oops, there's a wide variety of things I can search for here. So let's do an extended register read. And you can see I can enter the, the slave address, um, register address, and a specific data value. Uh, if I leave it as X's, that just means I don't care. Uh, just give me any uh, extended register read. Um, and we can see over here, I've captured two of those. And let's close that out. And over here in my table, I can click on that. So you have the two events. Uh, I can either click on the table and the zoom box will show me there. Or I can go over here into the badge and scroll through these events with the arrow. Okay. So I did that all offline uh, with the uh, tech scope analysis software. Um, if I were doing this on my scope, the other thing I could do is actually set up a trigger um, for SPMI bus, and I can trigger on those same conditions uh, that I was able to search for. Uh, so I hope you found that useful. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Uh, if you like what you see and you'd like to see more videos like this, uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. All right, thanks for watching.